My name is Major Nick Cabano, and I'm the Chief of Surgery for the Department of Defense Military Working Dog Veterinary Services. We're going to stay cranial to the prep use with our approach. One of the unique things about the Holland Military Working Dog Center is that we are the only Roll 4 facility uh, within the world. And adjust the lights. Any patient that's federally owned anywhere in the world within the Department of Defense umbrella for definitive care is referred to our facility. So a military working dog that experiences an IED explosion with their handler and sustains trauma to their leg to the point that they fracture a tibia, for instance. Well, that dog will ship typically to Dog Center Europe where it will be stabilized and they will make certain that the animal is safe for additional travel. That animal will then be referred here to Lackland Air Force Base in San Antonio and we'll provide the definitive care which typically for a case scenario like that would include physical therapy and rehabilitation uh, in order to get muscle groups tuned appropriately so that a surgical procedure will be most successful. Then we would perform a surgical procedure to say correct a fracture uh, and rehabilitate those wound sites. Who's a good boy? You, you are. And following that procedure, that animal would return to physical therapy and rehabilitation for additional management post-operatively. And along the way, if uh, things need to be performed, like semi-annual physical examinations, or, or perhaps we need additional x-rays or CT scan, those are all accomplished within the various departments located here at the hospital. Oh, look at that. Yeah. See that? Oh, wow. Yeah. That is a dramatic peristaltic wave right across the stomach. We have so many dogs that we establish really significant emotional relationships with here because we have such strong physical relationships with them. Uh, these surgery patients, you know, they, they need to be assisted in, in just walking around the hospital on a daily basis. We need to help their limbs move through a range of motion. We need to recondition their muscles and tendons and ligaments to the surgical procedure that's been performed. We want them to return to that elite level of duty that is saving the lives of Americans every single day all around the world. And that's a mission we take very seriously.